A Lincoln City woman has turned her therapeutic quarantine activity into a full-blown cookie business amid the pandemic. It is called Butter Bakes, and it all started after Whitney Bickle was furloughed from a local cafe and became depressed. A baking was an emotional outlet for her, and then unexpectedly, she transformed this hobby into a business. Whitney joining us live to share more of her story and some of the treats that she has now, including one for National Fudge Day, which just so happens <laughs> to be today. There you go. Yeah, good morning, yep. Whitney. Good morning. Good morning. This is an awesome story. I feel like it's like a part of a rom-com movie or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so how did you realize that, you know, this baking hobby of yours was something you could turn into a business? Um, I've been thinking about it for a while, but it didn't have the same momentum before the pandemic began. Um, I've been in the culinary industry for a while. I worked at a couple of different restaurants and cafes in town here. And when the pandemic began, um, I didn't know if my dreams in the culinary industry would continue or not. Um, I didn't know what I'd be going back to if there was anything to go back to. I didn't touch my mixer, I didn't touch my baking stuff for a good few weeks, and I got really depressed and I couldn't look at a cookie recipe without crying. And then my uh, boyfriend, seen there, his uh, lovely mother pointed out that there are probably a bunch of family and friends that would really enjoy my cookies, especially now, and that I should try and sell a few of them. So the week before Mother's Day, we tried a few things out and it went really well. It was enough to um, pay for testing new recipes, make sure I'd be ready to do some sort of market stall. And now I'm at the Lincoln City Farmers Market here at Lincoln City Cultural Center every Sunday. That is mm. so exciting. Yes, yeah, so you started with deliveries yeah. and now you're at the farmer's market. How yep. how has demand been? I would imagine you are busy baking every day. <laughs> yes, yes, really busy. Um, I actually have a few things started already. And if you look closely, I think I have a bit of flour on my apron. Um, but I had a couple of recipes that I knew uh, people were really obsessed with. Um, peanut butter cookie recipe, uh, the chocolate cookie, the fudgy ones. Um, and we knew there was a bit of a demand for it. I'd had people asking about them for a while and how they could get their hands on them. I didn't have time with work. Um, but once the pandemic began and the quarantine started, I suddenly had a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. And so were those, are those your top sellers, the ones that you just mentioned? Uh, yeah, a few of them. I think my top seller is probably this guy, uh, the little butter butter sandwich cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, two little peanut butter cookies with a bit of um, nut fluff in the middle. It's sort of like the nutter butters you remember eating during snack time as a little kid. Oh, I eat but... it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those look yes. delicious. But of course, it, it is National Fudge Day. So what yes. treat would you recommend to celebrate today? That one's actually my favorite. Um, it's from a recipe that uh, was cited as, or inspired by a recipe that was cited as being so delicious that if uh, somebody ate these cookies each day, everybody around the world it would bring about world peace. And um, I thought that that was a particularly good cookie for right now. This is uh, my, my uh, chocolate cookie. Um, it is a uh, stable type chocolate cookie. It's super fudgy. You eat it and you feel like you've eaten a brownie already. It's uh, really good with a glass of milk. It's one of my favorites. Ooh, oh like a gosh. brownie cookie hybrid. And it looks huge yes, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many of these are you turning out a week, all, all these different cookies? Um, it started mellower. I think last week I did just under a thousand cookies to prep for the market. Um, I had a few left over, but we donated them to some uh, charities. And yeah. Oh, wow, that's so uh, exciting. <laughs> We're planning to do even more for this next week, so we're not really sure what to expect at the market on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Now, if people can't make it out to visit you at the Lincoln City uh, Farmer's Market, uh, where else can they find you? And are, are you delivering? Unfortunately, that's the only place you can find me right now. Okay, I'm just okay. you're just focusing on that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't ship outside of the area. It's just local, but I'm okay with that. I don't want to be too big. I don't want to do anything larger than what I'm doing now until I know exactly how to do it really, really well. Yeah. You focus on quality, not quantity right Something now. Something fun to, to check out the next Lincoln time we're in City. Lincoln City. Yeah. yeah. All right, if you want to browse with. It's a great place to come and uh, yeah. explore some of the culture. Thanks, well, Whitney. if people do want to check out Butter Bakes and what all you have to offer, of course, we'll put a link to the website and social media pages on coin.com. Thanks, Whitney. Mm -hmm.